So we've talked about Canva Bulk Crate on this channel in the past, and we're gonna talk about it again today because Tailwind recently released a new feature where they are integrating their tool into Canva. This makes using the Bulk Create tool even more fun, quite honestly. So I'm gonna walk you through the process that I've been using to spend about an hour a week creating roughly 30 pins. Now in today's example, I'm working with 22 URLs because that's all the time I had to do for this prep. So as we dive into the tutorial, just know that the more URLs you wanna use, fine. You can do however many you want with the Canva Bolt Create to my knowledge, but I do suggest working in small batches because that's how you're gonna have more control over the end product in a speedier way. So without further ado, let's chat about Canva Bolt Create and pairing that with the new Tailwind Canva integration so you can speed up the process even more. The workflow is simple. First, decide how many pins you actually want to make and then choose a pin template that will work for your desired design sprint for like today, for example. And then for me, I wanted something really specific. I wanted two blocks of text plus an image. And then you want to apply that template to a blank canvas in, in Canva. So that's what we're gonna start with. I've already got my image actually applied to my blank canvas, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're just gonna simply come in and create a pin. You can create one from over here. You can create a design from here if you wanna search for design or if you want to create a design. However, the easiest way is usually right in here in this section. So create a pin and apply the template of your choice to your page. So I have brand templates already set up and this is the template that we're going to be using today. So I don't actually need this screen because I have this one already ready. You can see here I have two blocks of text and an image frame and that is what we are going to start with. Now when you are ready you are going to then create your pin copy based on the URLs that you want to create pins for. So these are the URLs I wanted to create pins for. You can see I already have the titles, the pin, um, the text overlay, and the pin description already prepared. Now all we need to do is create the actual pins inside of Canva. Now before we get going, you will want to make sure that all of this is either imported into a spreadsheet like Google Sheets, Excel, or Canva Sheets. You can see these two are actually the same thing. I just brought my sheet into Canva for an easier bulk CSV file import. Um, but before we get going, you will wanna make sure that your imagery is also ready to go inside of Canva. Now, I, I use a lot of brand photography and stock photography when needed, as well as screenshots of tools and platforms. So I have all of that organized really nicely inside of Canva. In fact, if you look at my starred folders over here on the left, you can see that I've got my brand folders, including my brand photo folder, which is organized by the type of brand photo or the photographer who took it. Now, I have all of that ready to go. And I personally prefer to do a bulk creation where I insert the imagery later, not through the spreadsheet. However, you can insert an image inside the sheet, but I want to show you what this is gonna look like and let you decide what method to use. So you have all of the decisions open to you, but you know what they're gonna look like. So. What I did is I tested this through Google Sheets and you can see this photo is not very great quality. I inserted it into the Google Sheet and brought it into Canva Sheets and then I created an image and this is what it looked like, okay? Now I created the same exact sheet and inserted an image from inside of Canva. In fact, it was from my photos, it's right here. And this was already uploaded to Canva and then I created an image using Bulk Create using that one and this is what that looks like. So if you are going to bring the imagery in 
with your spreadsheet to the bulk create tool. Just know that it's better if you go ahead and upload all of that imagery to Canva before you get started. Insert those images into the sheet where they go into the row and then do the bulk create steps. Now, I personally prefer to have a lot more control. I am a bit of a control freak when it comes to that, but now that you can see your options, you can choose how to import your data. So what we're gonna do now that I have my data all ready to go is we are going to go to apps and we're going to go to bulk create. Now bulk create is usually right down here in the more for Canva, but if you don't see it, you can search for it and it will show up. It's, it's this app with the little plus sign, that's it. And then you have a data source selection. You can choose from Google Sheets, um, Canva Sheets, which is this one. You can upload the data manually. Um, you can enter the data manually, is what I meant to say, and you can upload the data from your computer. We're gonna do Sheets because this is already imported into the tool. So it's Canva Bulk Create plus Tailwind Integration. And then we are going to uh, click done. It's gonna bring that data in. And now we need to actually connect our data to our template. So right click your first title. So pin title one is this big heading for me. And I'm gonna connect that there and it's gonna turn purple and it's gonna highlight and it's gonna turn purple over here. Then go to your next box and connect the second one. So this one's gonna be subtitle and then click the continue button down here on the bottom left hand side. Once you do that, it's going to bring in the list of content of uh, the pin copy that you have pulled in and it's going to say generate however many designs you decided to do. I created 22 and then you're going to click the button generate 22 designs and it is not going to create in this initial file that you set up. See this little black bar, it says one design created, save to your projects, and then you click view design. This is now unnecessary. You don't need it. You can close that screen because it has created your pins for you and put them in a new design where all 22 files are down here. Or if you click that little button, you can see all of them are there. Now all you need to do is go in and start tweaking around and editing just slightly. And this is why I tell you, I don't really mind going in and adding my photos manually from Canva. I already have everything uploaded anyways, and I'm gonna have to go in and tweak the text boxes regardless, because this is not the greatest um, when it comes to design. You're just going to have to edit things. Okay, once you have all of your edits completed on your Pinterest template, you will want to export these to Tailwind or whatever your preferred scheduling tool is. Today, we are exporting these to Tailwind because that is what I personally use. Now, I have done a few bonus edits. I've also gone a little above and beyond and put in videos instead of just images of myself or just images from stock photos. So a few of these are videos, like this one here is a video. There's actually a few of them that are videos. So I just look for things that match my brand vibe overall. Um, this one's for podcast marketing. I put a, a couple of podcasters in to make that interesting. And the next step really is to export this to Tailwind. So if you don't have the Tailwind extension in your left-hand app menu already, just go to apps and search for it. And it will show here. You just need to be logged into your Tailwind account in your browser. You don't have to do any extra integration or logging in of anything. And then you're just gonna click share to Tailwind. Now there are a few features here you could go ahead and in, uh, go ahead and fill in. I'm not gonna do that because every single one of these is different from the next, but we're gonna click share to Tailwind and we'll do all of the edits on the other side. So there are video files in here. So you're gonna need to know which ones are video and which ones are imagery. So I honestly would just come through and figure out which ones are video and move them to the end.
Okay, so I moved my videos to the end. It's 19 to 22. This is gonna make exporting to Tailwind so much easier. So I'm gonna go share to Tailwind. The next screen is gonna pop up and it's gonna ask me which pages I want to share. And I'm just gonna go down and find that video and it says there's an exclamation point there. So I know it's gonna be pages one to 18. Click done and export. Once that is complete, they will show up here on the left hand side. You'll get a preview of every image that exported to Tailwind, plus a little flag that says open Tailwind. And then we're gonna repeat the process for the videos, 19 to 22 are those files. So we're gonna go to MP4 video and we're gonna type 19 to 22, tab and export. Now remember, we already prepped all of our pin copy and descriptions prior to coming in to this video and prior to getting to your scheduling. So if you've been following along, pause and go complete your pin copy if you have not done that already. Pin copy meaning at least your pin description. And then once you actually get into Tailwind, you'll be able to just plug and play all of that inside of your drafts editor. I'll show you what that looks like just briefly and then I will let you go because you definitely don't wanna watch me do that over and over again. So we're gonna just open Tailwind and inside of our pin scheduler should live all 22 of our drafts. And there they are. Videos, images, everything is here. We just have to assign a description, the title, the URL, and add a board, and then just get these scheduled. Now you can also do some um, bulk generation with Ghostwriter, or if you wanted to use Ghostwriter and ghostwrite all of these, um, all of this pin copy, you could definitely do that as well. But at the very minimum, you are going to want your URL in all of these if you do use Ghostwriter. We're gonna go through now that we've optimized a few of these um, pins and we are going to add them to boards and just get them scheduled. That way you can see this process. However, I'm not gonna walk you through the process of doing all 22 because I just think it's unnecessary. It's repetitive. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do a few of them together. All right, now that we have those done, I'm just gonna hit schedule on all of those and they will go into the queue and then I will come over here and I will just drag these around a little bit. I'm really aiming for about three pins per day for Tailwind. So that's what I've been doing. I've been bulking up with um, infographics, with videos, with pins like this using this method. And this has been working quite well on top of what my team is creating and on top of what my content manager creates when she writes my blog posts. So all in all, this entire process for these 22 URLs took me about 40 minutes, and that includes the time it took to prep the URLs, put them into the pin bot, generate pin copy, slightly tweak that copy, then plug that into Sheets with you, which I did all of the um, process here with you in this video, tweaking the final templates that actually went to Canva, and then putting those in Tailwind and putting the copy in. All in all, I would say that's pretty decent and I could definitely multiply that out and save even more time over time doing more pins for these later. One thing to keep in mind is not everyone wants to use AI and if you're not using AI then you're probably spending more time on your pin copy and that's okay. So if you do want to write your own copy and not use AI tools, fair, I would say have a keyword bank as well as a description title bank where you can take previous pieces of copy and you can speed your process along by having a library of your own work to pull from. This is a really easy way that you can speed the process up. As a Pinterest manager, I do this frequently. It is totally fine to reuse your title and description. Pinterest is looking at the image when it's looking to determine whether it's a fresh pin or not, okay? All right, if you need more help or Pinterest strategy, head on over here to these videos and I'll see you there.